Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, Akim, pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Back with another lesson. Today's lesson is just going <clears> to <throat> be about how hey, the Lord is not just dealing with uh, anybody, man. All right. Uh, the ones of us that truly understand this word and is uh, putting our best foot forward, so to speak, and uh, getting to uh, or receiving salvation. Uh, hey, that's a very heavy thing to, to, to pursue, man. All right. And the Lord is just not dealing with just <laughs> with anybody, man. He's uh, only dealing with the ones that are serving him. And that's a very few people, man. Most people don't think about the Lord or <clears throat> what can they do uh, uh, to please him or what's required. That's only truly uh, the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Uh, the first scripture I'm going to get is Ecclesiastes 19 and 19. It says the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is a doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of of the tree of immortality. All right. Like I said, most people are uh, inward looking. They only look about, uh, think about themselves. Uh, <clears throat> they go to, especially these Christians, they go to church on Sunday. And that's pretty much the whole uh, time that they really do things. And that's not even, uh, you know, biblical, so to speak, that, that church in that building. Uh, because of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, well, we know, like, the true power, uh, he's only among them, uh, <clears throat> among them that have the spirit, the elect, all right? And he's not even dealing with them people. Uh, they refer to those churches as uh, cemeteries, man. But anyway, back to the point, hey, the Lord is just not dealing with anybody, man. So doing the things that's required and the things that are spoken about in the scriptures that uh, put you on the right side, Right with the, with the with the Lord, man, is extremely important. Uh, from there, I want to go to Psalms ten and four. It says, "The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all his thoughts." Right. So, hey, we we put these videos up. We do these lessons. Uh, you know, we we're, we're good brothers we show brotherly love you know all that and above hey we do these things because one is in us but we also understand that uh hey, if you're not doing these things if you if your thoughts are not about the most high and how wicked this <laughs> this world is and how grievous it is right you're not in the right spirit man okay so like i said hey, the lord is not just dealing with uh anybody man all right if the Lord got the spirit on you to praise him and to do works, to uh, help brothers out and to give tithes, to do do whatever. Uh, and be thankful, man. Be thankful. That's a big thing, man, because you're doing things that please you. How about you now shy and not just anybody on the corner, anybody, you know, walking down the street has the ability uh, to do that, man. Truly uh, a, the ones the Lord set up. Right, the ones he's chosen from the foundation of the earth are the ones that are truly gonna uh, please you. How about you now, Shai? All right. From there, we're gonna get First uh, Corinthians two and sixteen. It says, "For who have known the mind of the Lord, that He may instruct him." But we have the mind of the anointed, Yahweh Shai. So, hey, having the mind and understanding of this Bible is is uh, a, a great gift, man. Faith is a great gift. Understanding and wisdom is a great gift. And you really got to be appreciative of, uh, of the Lord uh, giving it to you, man. All right? You got to be because this world is pure chaos and madness, man. These people don't know whether they're coming or going. Truly don't understand it, man. <laughs> Truly, I put a video out the other day just with a bunch of interesting clips, man. These people are 
crazy, man. All right, it was some Edomites speaking, but guess what? A lot of our people take on the same spirit, motivation, and understanding of these people that's in charge. Many seek the ruler's favor, as the scriptures say. All right, so their understanding about uh, society and what's good for society and how uh, things should be, it comes directly from the heathen. It doesn't come from <clears throat> the scriptures. Right or the laws set by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that if they were in a, intact or in, in effect in the so-called let's say the uh, so-called black community, which so-called black people are Israelites, uh, the community would be a hundred times better, man. All right. Uh, from there, we're gonna get another scripture in the Book of Psalms because a hey, this 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 world should vex you, man. It should completely uh, uh, vex the hell out of you. Seeing these things, man. All right? Especially with this uh, election bullshit coming up. The alphabet gang. All these things these people run around <laughs> talking about, fighting for, trying to establish, or thinking it's going to save them. Especially our people. It's just like, and you, you, got, it all, you, you got it all wrong, man. This Psalms 119 and 102. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me how sweet is thy words unto, unto my taste. Yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Right? A lot of times when people hear the scriptures, it just goes right over their head, man. It goes in one ear and right out the other. But if you're able to perceive, take in, digest, understand uh, uh, the, the verses, the, the scriptures in these Bibles, and not just hear them, but actually understand them in the context. Hey, you're above these people out here, man. You know, period, point blank. Verse 104, through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Right, man. You're going to see the world for what it really is. It's a false way. It's a false understanding. This is how you make it. This is how you, uh, this is the meaning of life. This is how you be successful. This, you know, it's all false ways, man. All right? The understanding is, is perish except for the, the, the few the Lord is dealing with who he has given the light. All right? The understanding of the, of the way things should be. Uh, from there, we'll end it off in the book of Jeremiah. All right? It says, uh, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 14, Turn, O backsliding children, say of the Lord, I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city, two of a family, and I will bring you to uh, Zion. So the Lord is dealing with a small number, man. Even when we talk about the elect, even when we talk about uh, the innumerable multitude, right? Uh, it's going to... Uh, that's what I'm looking for. It's not going to compare the comparison to that, to the ones that don't believe, to the ones that don't have the understanding, the ones that's not going to repent. It's, it's a small number compared to that. Verse 15, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Right. You got these mega churches. You got these even within the uh, Hebrew Israelite ranks. You got big camps, big budgets. <laughs> Hollywood production, all right, and and they're doing it all to make uh, uh, for filthy lucre's sake, man. All right, for filthy lucre's sake, you can see it. Things that they teach, things they prioritize to uh, pull in uh, a, a the most people that are the most Israelites as possible, right? But truly, uh, reading the scriptures and understanding the scriptures, you're gonna know. A, the Lord is dealing with a small number. When you actually understand these words, you're not going to be celebrated. You're not going to have big groups. It's going to alienate you. The opposite effect is going to happen. Okay? So, like I made my first statement, man, the Lord is not just dealing with anybody, man. Okay? Uh, it's a real serious thing if the uh, Lord has given you this understanding. Right? And the humility to, to keep this understanding. Hey, hey, that's powerful, Jack. But that's pretty much the point. 
We're going to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Shalom the next time.